what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel uh, today we have a little bit something new something different uh, the Portland Bulls franchise isn't going anywhere we're gonna keep doing that I just thought this would be a fun another series to start um, we're gonna be doing a fantasy draft series uh, so we are the Houston Texans I uh, made a coach his name is coach Joe Poems Louisiana native he's gonna be coaching this team right up um but you know it's a fun interesting take on the nfl if it were to get restarted so um today's episode will probably just be the draft and going through preseason might do week one and not sure um so for the draft i'm gonna be doing 22 picks 11 on offense 11 on defense um i'm gonna actually do 11 and 11, but I'm going to stop at 22, um, and I might do 20, like 25, uh, or 24 around the area just to make sure I get a kicker and a punter as well, uh, but trying to limit myself though is the thing. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump into the fantasy draft. Um, also just to note, this isn't going to be a standard fantasy draft where the cycle repeats every time it is a snake draft so orders will reverse every time so honestly for us it might be best just to get center of the pack um you know if we get an early pick we're gonna go quarterback but if we're middle of the pack um i'm not sure what we'll do most of the good quarterbacks will probably be taken uh or at the very end we could you know have a lot of leeway in setting up the next next pick so it all depends all depends on where we are drafting that is, that is the big thing so without further ado let's find out where we are drafting at we have pick three. Oh my goodness uh wait real quick i am going to turn off the timer just so we can talk about stuff and whatnot plus i get anxious when that timer's on but oh my goodness so we have joe burrow josh allen dak tua jalen brock purdy justin herbert a rod oh my goodness the list goes on and on trevor lawrence is a 79 that is crazy okay so hmm man Burrow is tempting, but I like to scramble a lot is the problem, and Joe Burrow can't really scramble. Josh Allen can scramble, I know, Jalen Hurts could scramble, um, I don't know about Dak or Tua, pretty sure Herbert could scramble too if he really needed to, I mean his throw on the run's a 91, but let's just see. Josh Allen is a superstar X Factor. He's got 88 speed, 92 Excel. Burrow, you are a superstar with 83, 86. So it's not like he's super slow or anything. Um, hmm. Oh, we had pick four. Sorry, I thought we had pick three. My bad. Um. <laughs> this is interesting though I would honestly it might be an idea to take a end ru edge rusher and we get like one of these younger guys like a Trevor Lawrence or maybe a CJ Stroud if they're still there I doubt they are after round one but hmm I mean like Micah Parsons would be so cool. Jay Jettas would be nice to have too. Oh man. Micah looks really tempting. I'm not gonna lie. Uh he is an X Factor. And he's 24. Aaron Donald's pretty old. Nick Bosa would be also be really cool to have. I didn't even notice Nick Bosa there for a second. Um he would be really nice. Uh, ooh, 
Miles Garrett too. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Michael Parsons, and we're just gonna have a really stout defense. It seems. I think I. I kind of like the Sam Howell thing. I'm not gonna lie, I do. I don't know why. I am a Zach Howell fan. I do root for the guy. The phew, Commanders are getting up killed though, so I might do this instead. I might bolster him up like with a decent O-line. And if he's there next round, we swoop in and take him. Oh, this could be it. Yeah, this is easy. We take Tristan Wirfs. That's... I don't care what that says. I think that's a good pick. Tristan Wirfs there as Superstar. Lyman, you can't really go wrong with that in my opinion. We're gonna go Lindstrom. Chris Lindstrom. 93 overall. Lyman, we're gonna get him. Bolster up the O-line, protect uh, Sam. Sam Howell, so he doesn't die like he does in Houston. Creed Humphreys is still there, though, so we're gonna, we're gonna get Creed Humphreys. We're gonna just give him a really good offensive line <laughs> so we can have good run, good pass game. Like, Bill O'Neill, I was looking at him. I'm pretty sure he's young. He's 27. We're gonna grab him because the death at right tackle is kind of crazy. I have neglected defense so bad. So, so bad. I'm gonna grab Sam Howell real quick just so he doesn't get scooped up. Just get a quarterback. And now we can kind of focus on defense. I know I waited really late to start that, but um, we're gonna go Logan Wilson here. Uh, start building up this defense. Pass coverage is what I mainly lean towards, and he fits that scheme perfectly. Ed Oliver, you're 25. Yeah, let's throw somebody up there with Micah Parsons kind of keep that defensive line strong. All right, Xavier McKinney is 25 run supporters, so that might help balance out with the pass coverage I'm looking to run. Uh, so we're going to draft him. Also sets up that young secondary I kind of want to go with. Alright, going to grab my user real quick, Isaiah Simmons, the middle linebacker. We're going to go ahead and grab him. I uh, don't know how long he would have lasted, so just take him now, so I'm not struggling to figure out who I'm going to use her. Justin Reed, I know you're younger. Yeah. Justin Reed can double as a kicker, too, if we want. I'm going to go with Justin Reed. Get that uh, other safety over the top to help. Jonah Jackson, we're just going to grab you, young, start of, uh, just to complete that line out. Yeah, we're going to get Dalton Kincaid. I like the young guy. Hidden depth, too. That'll be fun. Yeah, we're gonna go Isaiah Rogers here. Uh, get our first cornerback. It's probably a little late to be doing that, but it's whatever. All right, Jalen Warren's still there. I'm just gonna grab him really quick. Just have a running back that I like. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Caleb Farley. I know he's young and a star, so nice. Another addition. Will McDonald. Oh, no, he's right here. Okay, Will McDonald. Welcome to the squad. <laughs> I was about to say, I can't believe I let him get drafted. And we're going to grab Kaylee Ringo. Bias pick, but I don't care. Getting the 21-year-old. Uh, Lazard has more speed, though, and a higher acceleration. We're going to go Alan Lazard right here, then. At least get one wide receiver. And we're going to get Quez Watkins. Quez Watkins. Very fast. He'll play great. And the slot, I think, is where I'll probably stick him. All right, this last pick, probably not gonna make any sense, but I just saw this dude, 91 speed, at a middle linebacker is really crazy. And 95 XL, and he's a rookie? Hidden dev? We're drafting him. I just, yeah. The GOAT, Justin Tucker, that's an easy draft right there. And let's just take the highest overall as well in AJ Cole. And that's the draft, guys. We are going to sim the rest of it. And a draft. So it may not look the greatest on paper. First of all, let's move Quez Watkins over Philip Dorsett. So, you know, this this skill positions doesn't look great. Not very appeasing, won't lie. But this line right here, we are going to get a lot done behind them. Easy. Easily. The run game will thrive. I think we'll have a lot of pass 
timing too. Uh, so I'm not worried too, too much on the offensive side. The defensive side is a bit tricky. The corners aren't the greatest, safeties are decent, and the linebacking core is meh. But this defensive front should be able to get a lot of pressure on quarterbacks, so there is that. Uh, Micah Parsons will wreak havoc. Will McDonald might be able to come into his own as a rookie. Ed Oliver, he's a force to be reckoned with. And then if not, we have linebackers that should help over the middle. So I do really like this squad. On top of the fact, we got AJ Cole and Justin Tucker. Come on, son. Come on, son. All right. We're, we're chilling. I am the move as Watkins to return man, though. And then let's check and see who is the slot receiver. Good, it is Quez. So, yep. That is the squad we are working with, guys. Um, I'm not going to be too greedy. We're going to go seven wins. Hopefully we can get that. I don't know. Draft class, we're going to do auto-generated. I know I did the custom draft class this time, but that was not great. Because, you know, that glitch, everybody had the same number. There was a middle linebacker that was apparently really good. Didn't even have a last name, so... We're just going to go auto-generated. We're dominating offense, and then we're going to say run game. I just decided we're going to just have like a really big impactful first episode. We're going to play the first week. Why not? Screw it. All right, we get to start out on defense against Kyler Murray and the Ravens. Didn't even look at the team, but uh, should be interesting. Kyler is a scrambler. We'll have to put uh, a quarterback spy up most likely. But what we'll do is we'll put Will McDonald on the uh, spy for now. They're running the read option. We're out there with Isaiah Simmons. He is going nowhere. Totally forgot, though, that they run around a read options with this uh, Ravens playbook. So I'll have to look out for that. As we hit, I think that's uh, Javante Williams. That is the one thing that is uh, different about this. I don't know who the team is <laughs> at all. Uh, but we're going to bring a pressure here on third and nine. He does get it out to whoever that is. Looks like Zach Ertz. Just probably, yeah, it is. Zach Ertz for reverse. Haven't seen anything from Micah Parsons yet. Hopefully that changes. He is going against Lane Johnson, though, so that is something to look out for. As they go short, and we hit Sterling Shepard pretty quick. Now. Hope uh, Hopefully uh, Lane Johnson doesn't get the better of uh, Micah all game, as we put a huge hit on Kyler on that read off. Good lord, he is hunting. Third and three, we are going to bring pressure here. Go run and make a pass into the hill. Oh! Kyler gets hit as he's thrown, as that's going to be incomplete, and that's fourth down. Here it is, redemption arc time for Sam Howell, but first... We're going to give uh, Jalen Warren a carry as he cut it back in for 10 yards. And we had great blocking on that play. So I am already liking this decision to just go heavy into that O-line. As the blocks were phenomenal. Oh, we get his weak throw, though. Kincaid was wide open. All right, I might have bragged about the open. I might have bragged about the offensive line a little too much. Yep. Um... Sam Howell's not designed for screen plays. I forgot about that. Pedal away from defenders fast enough. So, forget about that. Uh, as we are facing a third down and long all of a sudden. We're going to try Alec Pierce over the middle. Oh, he caught it. Jump ball man right there as Miles Jack's going down with an injury. Let's get back to the run game here. Jalen Warren. That's TJ Watt there on the other side. Uh, that X Factor, I just realized. Try one more run play here on second down as we get good blocks there. Jalen Warren picks up a first down. All right, we've ran them on. We've ran on them twice now, so hopefully play action can kind of open up a little bit. That's Alec Pierce over there. Oh, he can't hold on to the contact though. Good play to come back by the safety. They're probably going to be pressure again here on second down. Yep, there's the blitz. We're just going to hit Jalen Warren. As TJ Watt can't track us down in time, and that's a another first down. So right now our offense is just basically Jalen Warren. Uh, hopefully we can fix that, though, as Lazard over the middle cannot hold on, though. It's not going to be holding. 
eligible to see their dumb field. That's weird. We get moved back five from that. Uh, let's see what this new first down holds for us as we're going nowhere. And Jalen Warren's hurt. I forgot to mess with injury sliders. Just realized that. So the backup is Jeff Wilson Jr. Uh, we're going to go past though. We have Lazard out there. Third and five here. Definitely want to try and get the first if we can. Scramble out with Sam Howell. He's got a little bit of wheels. We're just going to fall down or try to slide. Uh, so we go down to the two. To be honest, I didn't know uh, Sam Howell had wheels like that. Pretty crazy. So we're going to go play action here in the red zone. See if we can hit Jeff Wilson. Okay. It, I didn't want to switch to Jeff Wilson, but it changed me over to him anyways. So I throw a pick. Well, that really sucks. Um, I didn't mean to do that, actually. It's what really kind of sucks, too. Just kind of forced me onto that. As uh, Hayden Hurst is just breaking tackles. Let's see what happens here. Uh, we're going to go read option again. Kyler, we lay a big hit. Still holding on to the football, though. No fumble yet. Probably a run here. It is. As Williams is running into his own men in the backfield. Second and ten now. We're gonna move Stewart back over here. And we'll stay on him. We go quick there. Who is that? Is that Hollywood Brown? DJ Moore. Okay, okay. Did not know they had DJ Moore. Wasn't really paying attention. That's a screen pass. Isaiah Simmons is all over it. Oh, we got broken. We got broken again. What is happening? He even tried a hit stick on the first tackle. Okay. Got broken as that brings us to, to that brings us to the end of the first quarter and we're all tied at nothing. New set of downs. They're gonna go option. Yep. Kyler. Okay, he's breaking the tackle for my Xavier McKinnon. Gonna put Logan Wilson on the spy here in case they do try to run another read option. They go to the running back though as we are bringing him down behind the line again. Uh, I think that's Shavante Williams, but he is having not a great day so far. Third and seven, they'll probably have to pass here. If I had to guess. They're gonna go play action. We're on that. Oh, Kyler ran though. And Wilson didn't even make an attempt at him. He picks up the first down, and then some. That is the one thing that sucks with these scrambling quarterbacks. You think you have them locked up. Next thing you know, they're breaking one big on you. See what they do here. They're going back to Williams. He's picking up positive yardage finally. And they are in the red zone. We're getting drove on really easily here. Not too happy about that. As the blitz doesn't work for us either. And they're on the five. Yeah, this defense isn't looking good at all right now. Uh, we cannot stop the run all of a sudden. As they have the backup running back in, Samaj P. Ryan, and he's even going for positive yardage. A lot of read options, a lot of quarterback scrambling as we're able to hit Williams in the backfield, not let him score. Gotta make sure everybody's covered. There we go. And now they're going back. Oh, it kind of keeps it. That's fourth and goal. They're going to opt to take their three, hopefully. Let's see if it's a fake. Doubt it though. Yeah, they're gonna settle for three. Oh my goodness, Quez. Oh my, this is why I drafted Quez Watkins. Oh my goodness. Kick return, celebrate on him. That is a touchdown. <laughs> Kick return touchdown. That is crazy. And just like that, we're back on defense. They're going back to the read options. Williams breaking tackles. Really random, he either gets hit in the backfield or he breaks like four tackles and goes for more than ten. No in between. Going. Another read option. Kyler's not going too, too far. And I will say, this is one reason why I do not like playing the Ravens at all, and regardless of like the franchise. Uh, they run so much read options, it's hard to tell what they're going to run. Like, just then I thought they were running at 100%. They're passing it again. Uh, 
Kyler's gonna scramble. Thankfully, we do have a man right there to wrap him up, and now Kyler is hurt. And he's heading to the locker room, so that is not a good sign for the uh, Ravens here. Let's see, who is their backup? Clayton Toon, oh boy. He's like a 65 overall. Good route by DJ Moore. We're able to take him out of the legs, though. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. So now we have a completely different type of quarterback in. Don't see them running read options with Clayton Toon at all. They're just going to go pass heavy, it seems. But it's also under two minutes, and they need to score in four half. But now I don't have to worry about uh, the quarterback scrambling that much, either. So, I can just kind of focus on... Thankfully, uh, Zach Ertz kind of gives us a break there as we hit them as they're trying to run another screen to bring up fourth down. They're, uh, they're going to go for it, though. I like the, I like the moxie of this Ravens team. They're going quick to Zach Ertz. We're not able to break it up. They get a first down on us. So, looks like a good decision on their part. Uh, we're going to go more into coverage here as we know they're trying to score here before that was pretty crazy spin move right there they only have 20 seconds to work with i don't i don't know what they're trying to like accomplish here i guess they're just trying to run on the clock and if they want they take a field goal but that really defeats the purpose of that fourth down conversion but you never know what's the cpus these days so just kind of have to try and read their mind, which is kind of hard to do. They go to Zach Ertz again. We're going to knock him out of bounds. And maybe some pressure here on third down. We'll freak out the young Clayton Toon as we break up the pass. There we go. Good coverage. They are going to settle for three here. Again. Quez Watkins was unable to do it again. Uh, return touchdown. So... We're going to try a read option here and just let it go to half. I was just going to see what their response was to that and also if Sam Howell could run, but they didn't bite, so we don't know. Might go into half. It's seven to six. Really tight game so far. We've only been on offense once, though, so we get to start out this half with the ball. We're going to go right back to this run attack that was working pretty well in the first half. Uh, it's only get three there though. Five wide, we're gonna air it out. See what uh, Mr. Howell can do. Is we have somebody? Oh, the throw on the one. Sam Howell, good lord, and Alec Pierce toe taps. That was a huge game. And why they have uh, T.J. Watt playing coverage, I don't know, but uh, worked out well for us. Is we're gonna try and throw one up to Quez. As he runs the corner off and comes back to it. Oh my goodness. Definitely thought that was going to get broken up. And the runoff by Quez. And then he comes right back to it. And then Jalen Warren trying to take it in himself. Let's see if one of these out routes can kind of get open. They don't. But we have Kincaid. What a diving grab. The pressure made an inaccurate throw. And Kincaid adjusts. So it's still Clayton Toon at quarterback for the Ravens. So I'm gonna expect some runs, but passes. No, no more read options, I don't think. We'll just have to worry about Williams in the pass. No running factor here, as I say that, but Clayton Toon going backwards. So I guess they still will call read options occasionally, but I'm not too worried about it now. Clayton Toon's not the quarterback that Kyler is. So it shouldn't be too, too different. As we read that, that's a pick. Isaiah Simmons. Juke? Nope. Okay. What a pick. We're turning up in the second half right now. So much better from the first half. We're going to try a read option of our own here on first down. They don't bite on Warren, but because of that, he gets a first down. Any action here on the fresh set of downs. We're just going to go to Mo Alley Cox. Just pick up a yard. I did not like how that edge rusher was about to get off a block. Let's see if that uh, linebacker is rushing. We're just going to hit Kincaid really quick. There we go. First down inside the goal line. We're at the five. Sam Howell is looking great right now. All right, we're going to try it again. Read option. 
Let's see what they do. They stay on Howl for some reason. Warren gets a yard. I will say that is not the greatest read option to be running. I might have to run a different one just to see. Uh, but quick slant. Nope. Okay, I just do another pick. Son of a bitch. Predetermine that throw almost immediately. And Landon Collins is going to return that? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Pick six. Okay. And they're going to go for two to try and tie it up. See if it works out for them. They scrambles. Oh my god. My god you got to. Okay, Micah lets him stroll in for two, it's tied. Wes Watkins got hurt on the kick return, so that's not great. <laughs> As I thought, everything might be going really well for us. Uh, just everything going wrong all of a sudden. As we're able to hit Lazard on a crosser. Definitely going to have to mess with the injury sliders though. Uh, they're really high. So we're going to go play action here. Oh, oh, Kincaid, what the? What were you running? You were open, dude! So, Quez Watkins... I'm gonna switch out of this actually real quick. Quez Watkins has a bruised sternum. He will not return. Oh my gosh, okay. I was really trying to get a PI call right there, because Kincaid was getting... Yeah, I'm actually trying to throw this game right now, apparently. Uh, don't know what I was thinking. I just saw fake, and I was like, oh, that might be fun. Uh, but yeah, no, I am throwing. This Clayton Toon scrambles for two yards. This dude Clayton Toon's about to make me put on a quarterback spy for him. This is crazy. Shift the line real quick. It's Micah. What is that animation? He just got knocked forward for like six yards. Third and four though, they will most likely be passing it. We're gonna put on a quarterback spy though. Just to make sure as they're going quick. Is that Jaden Reed? They do give him the first. This is just not going well all of a sudden. I got really cocky. Oh, I bet on that play action too. Crap. Okay. I missed. The fullback's picking up yardage. Start of the fourth quarter. We're all tied up. They're in the red zone. As Williams with a cutback. Saving himself from negative yardage and Micah Parsons just really needs to be coming off the edge I have him in coverage way too much and the man doesn't work McKinney gets burnt by Zach Ertz and we're down now all right so Sam Howell really has got to step it up this drive be really good here Kincaid oh, he drops that really thought he was gonna hold on through the contact so Maybe Sam Howell isn't the one that needs to step up. Maybe these receivers need to step up and be better. Go to Jalen Warren out of the backfield. I can't get the juke off. So now it's third and long. Definitely not what I wanted here. Third and long. We got crazy screen shake. Alan Lazard, the Marxism! Oh my goodness! Big play! Fresh set of downs. Let's try a run play here right at TJ Watt. See what happens. Not great things. He Created a hole for his uh, linebackers to come swarm Jalen Warren. Second and nine. They're not bringing pressure, but oh, Sam Howell, you gotta make that throw, dude. Gotta make that throw. All right, we're in another third and long situation. Uh, hopefully, this play develops like I think it will. It does. Dorsett holds on through the contact. It's the one time I will say an accurate pass was kind of better than a pass that I wanted. We run into another read option. They're still reading Sam Howell, which is crazy. Jalen Warren's getting some good yardage off of it. All right, they're about to bring the house here. The little they know it's a play action. Jalen Warren, nope, okay. Should have done better. That throw on the run is not going to be well. So let's see, they'll bring less pressure here on third and one as we hit Kincaid. Oh, it was out of reach. Are you kidding me? No way. All right, uh, fourth and one did not not like that. As we go, Lazard. Oh, oh didn't he see that? His back was turned. No way. I 100% think they're running this. If I guess run and they pass, then we're getting scored on. But I do think it's going to be a run. Yes, there it is. Just don't let him get up first. Just, just they're going past. 
underneath is wide open. Well, why is Logan Wilson running back deep so far? Okay, third and two here. Gonna shift this line, bring pressure. Guess it doesn't work. Oh my goodness, how do they get a first down in that situation? Oh no. We're gonna try and run this clock out. I, I know they are. Must mean Parsons over here. He holds on to the contact. I wasn't expecting pass. I still don't expect pass to be quite honest, but we'll just have to see. They're starting to drain the clock now, though. So it's an option to Clayton Toon, and somehow our defensive lineman runs backwards. <laughs> the third and inches. I really don't see them passing here, but what do I know? So they do that midline read again as Clayton Toon goes backwards, thankfully. Fourth and eight. We're gonna call timeout. Alright, another situation. We gotta drive down and score. And I'm surprised Dalton King Kang held on through that. I was really scared for a second. And I'm not super worried on time just yet. Uh, I shouldn't throw this away. No one was really open. But I'm gonna try to not worry about time too too much just yet we're gonna go to Kincaid again breaks another tackle he broke two and he gets out of bounds wow uh, we're gonna run play right here we have two timeouts trust in Jalen Warren here cut back we don't need to use the timeouts that's a touchdown 30 seconds left and we score to tie it up so we know they're gonna most likely pass it uh okay they do run it though um Really thought they were going to try to pass and get into field goal range here. And they haven't taken a timeout yet. Let the clock run out. Nope, they are going to run it one more time here. So we hit him in the backfield. We are going into overtime. So we lost the toss. And Ravens like to receive. So we're starting out on defense here. Basically, we got to hold them to three at the very least. But... We want to stop, of course. So you're going to keep going read options here. It looks like he runs right into Micah Parsons for a loss. That's the big play uh, feeling we kind of need out of him. So he's coming in clutch here in the fourth. They're going screen, get out there. And we hit him. We bring him down before he gets the first down. What a good play by the defense, snuffing out the screen. We're going to run it right at... TJ Watt, this first play here. Good blocking. Good run blocks. Obviously, we're playing for a touchdown, but if we need to, we can settle for three. So there we go to Dorsett. Run play. Oh, good blocking. Jalen Warren able to get into the secondary. Can't make a man miss, though, but we do pick up another first down. Hopefully, all those run plays sets this up quite well, this play action pass here. So we're not able to get anybody open quite yet. We do run it with Sam Howell, and we run out of bounds. Another play-action attempt. Over the middle. Oh, he, I did jinx it. Okay, he missed that throw really bad. Second and ten. Empty set. We're going to try and pass it. So we're just going to step up really quick. Slide down. Third and four. Just got to the two-minute warning right there. And uh, we are in field goal range, thankfully. So... Worst comes to worst, we can always just kick a field goal and go ahead and win it. But obviously the goal here is to score a touchdown. And that's what we're going to try to do here. It's going to try to go to this like a little bubble screen pass that somehow worked out for five. It did not look like it was forming well. Okay, well let's see. Got Kincaid. It's brought down by a diving tackler though. We do have to be mindful of the time though. We let the time run out. We do tie. So... Just got to be wary of it. Don't know if I like anybody. Oh, I almost threw another pick. I thought Pierce was going to run forward, though. He didn't. Third and goal here if we don't get it. Obviously, we're just going to take the full goal to win. So we're going to scramble out just a little bit. Hit Philip Dorsett. And that's a touchdown. We win walk-off touchdown here on the road. Week one against the Baltimore Ravens. The team is surely fired up right now. They're celebrating. What a game. That's all I can say. That is 
that was a crazy crazy game forgot to look at the stats but uh we got the box score right here guys sam howell today passing wise he was 18 for 34 275 yards uh two touchdowns and two interceptions uh basically i kind of re realized how his play style is we got to go kind of short throws his medium to deep accuracy is not very great so it's just kind of figuring out his play style rushing the ball uh jalen warren 16 carries for 91 yards and a touchdown no fumbles thankfully on the day he did get injured at one point and then sam howell scrambled three times for 34 yards so that is not bad for him don't really take him as a mobile guy but he did use his legs just a little bit today receiving the ball uh dalton kincaid was the favorite target today five receptions for 68 yards and a touchdown alec pierce having two receptions for 64 yards alan lazard three receptions for 55 philip dorsett four for 42 yards and that walk-off touchdown at the end as Watkins one reception for 33 yards jalen warren two receptions for 12 yards mo alley cox one reception one yard and the tackle leader today was xavier mckinney tfls on the day isaiah simmons had three justin reed had three McKinney had two, Parsons had two, Ed Oliver two, Trenton Simpson one, and MJ Stewart Jr. one. No sacks on the day, but we did have one interception with Isaiah Simmons. And then the shout out, Quez Watkins, four returns for 171 yards and a touchdown. That return touchdown was 105 yards. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and a little fun, different kind of franchise we got going here. So I am excited to make more videos for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this series as much as I'm enjoying it in my head right now because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But if you are new here, like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. So you get updates on when the Portland Bulls franchise comes out and this new Texans franchise comes out. But that's going to do it for me, guys. I'm Andrew from Sexton Gaming, and I'm out. Peace.